Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. It's the middle of July and temperatures are soaring. The explorers still have plenty to see in the region, but can they fit it all in? Join us this week as we explore the more touristic side of Sardinia, as we head towards the east coast and the Gulf of Orosei. It's time to boot up and seek out some of the island's top hikes. Prepare for some epic views, landscapes and of course lunch spots. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to yet another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. And what a fantastically epic spot we've woken up in this morning. Believe it or not, we're still in Sardinia, even though it might not look like it at first glance. We've only been here for one night, but the roads up to it were pretty spectacular. The hairpin bends made uh, Flora work out a little bit, so she was glad to get up here. We came quite a long way out of our way, so we're so fortunate and thankful that we found such an amazing spot. It was just incredible. We arrived just before sunset, didn't we? Mm. And it was just stunning. There's loads of uh, wild boar. So we were up at the crack of dawn, just before sunrise, because we wanted to capture, obviously, the start of a beautiful day here. So we got a bit of footage, and we've also got up early because there's some cool activities we want to do today, and we want to beat the crowd slightly. So we've had our breakfast, we're going to finish our coffee and we need to obviously get the van ready to descend. So whilst we do that, why don't you have a look at what we got up to a couple of days ago. It's a tasty one. Mm -mm. This evening you find us just outside the town of Dorgalai, just halfway down the east coast of Sardinia and tonight we're about to go for an agriturismo dining experience, something that all the guidebooks tell you to give a try when you're in Sardinia. We also read that we should arrive hungry and avoid filling up on bread. So, dotted all over Sardinia, you'll find at, at the side of the roads and in the countryside, like little farms that offer a set meal for a set price, depending on what's in season, what's local, and more importantly, what the farm or nearby farms produce. So, that's stuff from vegetables to milk, cheeses, homemade pasta, and of course, meat too. So, I've booked ourselves in for one tonight as a bit of a treat and uh, we'll soon find out what it's like and uh, let you know what it's all about. Bio Farm Cook Air Feast's evenings are normally booked up with guests staying on the farm, but we managed to snag a spare table in the beautiful garden dining area. We were served a four-course meal. A platter of cured meats and a selection of sheep and goat's cheese all made on the farm. Next up, homemade ravioli with fennel and sheep's cheese. Vegans and veggies, close your eyes and ears for the next bit. The main course was a Sardinian speciality, roasted piglet. By the end we were so full, we took all of our leftovers with us. In the biggest doggy bag you've ever seen. The evening was a fantastic experience and we highly recommend it. Rustic and authentic food with warm Sardinian hospitality.
So after a beautifully scenic drive, we have arrived at Gola di Goroppo, which is one of the deepest canyons and gorges in Europe. And today, we're hiking. We mean business because we've got the boots on. I think it's five pounds entrance per person. Yeah. Get a little bit of a safety briefing. If we had arrived here before half past nine, there's a chance we could have snuck in and not have to have paid, but this is just the way things go sometimes. Pat lunch chance for an epic lunch spot there might be a few actually the next few days but we'll hold our horses until we actually see them shall we Cal? when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun the walk was a steep trek down which was very hard on the knees it took the best part of two hours However, it didn't take long for the views to open up across the whole valley. So we finally made it to the bottom of the gorge. It was a hell of a trek and I think we're going to have to go straight back up after this. But now that we've made it to the bottom of the gorge, we wondered why we hadn't paid any money. It's because we've got to head over there and then it's just a 40 minute section that you have to pay to go into but it is the main bit of the gorge so we can go and do that maybe have a bit of lunch there are two sections of the gorge you can explore without a guide the green and yellow sections however it's not a simple walk you have to scramble over massive limestone boulders and now i think it's time for an epic lunch spot. We are absolutely cream crackered already and I think we're going to sit in a little shady spot and rest for a little while. Best part of walks and hikes is the picnic in my opinion. <laughs> and that is where we're heading just behind Megba. At some point today. Squeezing in between the boulders through small cracks, we made our way into the canyon. We are now at one of the deepest parts of the gorge and the walls behind us are over 500 metres tall. I don't think it's going to pick up on camera properly, but the scale of this place is just absolutely immense. This area is a unique place for wildlife and nature. Alongside golden eagles and mufflin sheep, there is a very rare plant that only grows here in the gorge, that flowers in the spring. So what we're about to do next, we would never normally do. Uh, some would consider it cheating, but I don't today. <laughs> we're getting a Jeep back up the hill. I hope it's worth it for 15 euros. That Jeep ride was more of an experience than I think we thought it was going to be. We thought it was just going to be a way out of the gorge without having to walk for bloody kilometres. Mm-hmm. I had a fantastic ride. It was about 30 minutes. Yeah, oh, we really? certainly got our money's worth. Oh, yeah. Well, some of us did. Um, Meg got, you know, prime view, seat to herself. <laughs> I was in the back with a family of four on the Bambino bench with a dog. It was highly uncomfortable and it really detracted from my experience. To be fair, we didn't know that it was going to be such a drive. It was a really cool road. Yeah, about four kilometers, I think. Yeah. yeah, I just couldn't, I just felt a bit shortchanged. You know, I'm paying the same as everyone else, but Oh well, it is what it is. But sat in the front like a queen, I was loving it. Yeah, it was good fun, but um, yeah, not the most. Uh, I was ready for it to be over after about five minutes. I didn't realise it was going to take so long to get out of that gorge. 
And like we said, we don't normally do this kind of thing, we, you know, up Snowden, we didn't take the train. We, we like to, you know, do, do it in its entirety, but I'm so glad we did the Jeeps. Um, it would have taken us hours. It took two hours to get down there. Yeah, the heat today was just mega. So yes. if you're going to come to Sardinia out of season, this would be the perfect thing. Sp uh, spring or, or like autumn, it'd be great. Yeah. So, we've got about an hour's drive until we reach our next destination, which is our first paid camper stop since leaving camp lockdown. Um, we're not going to film much of the drive, and I think we're going to end this video here because our energy levels are low, and um, yeah, there's not much more to say really, but tomorrow should be very exciting, which will be not tomorrow for you, but just a few minutes into this video. Yes, we'll see you tomorrow morning on our next mini adventure. Fingers crossed it should be a good one, so, I mean, that's the plan, we we don't, we should be up to camp there tonight, I spoke to them earlier. Oh, Alright, they're all waffling. You've done half waffle. <laughs> right, yep, so that's it, we're going to spin the van round and hit the road. God, I'm so tired. <laughs> Bye. The alarm went off early for us to make the most of the cool morning temperatures before the heat of the day. However, all urgency went out of the window as we were distracted by a super cute puppy and its mum that came to say hello. They both lived at the restaurant and the little pup took a liking to Meg's dreads. This was our car park campsite for the night, where we slept pretty well and only had two other motorhome neighbours. The bonus of this place? A free and much needed shower after yesterday's hike. So we are now on the four kilometre walk to Cala Gorizzi. Not sure if that's the right pronunciation because I haven't checked on Google Translate this morning yet. The legs are questioning what we're doing today because they haven't hiked quite so much um, but the campsite was really spot on for eight pound each a night so 14 for uh, 16 for us in the van we had a shower which was above average yeah the reviews for it are crap but we we haven't had a, sh a proper shower since we left Mike and Colette's Airbnb a fair few months ago <laughs> there's also toilets and a bar that you can have breakfast at or snacks and cold drinks later so we were more than happy in puppies this morning what <laughs> What better wake up call? So this is actually one of the top rated beaches in Sardinia and it's only accessible by this path which is about four kilometers. I don't think you could even pull boats into the bay but because of this there is a ticket booth at the entrance but it's quite reasonable it's uh, six euros each However, due to the current COVID situation, the numbers are limited, so they're only allowing 150 people per day on the hike and onto the beach. So you have to pre-book. That can be done on the phone or by using the um, Heart of Sardinia app. Pretty straightforward. Even though the walk's kind of open to all ages and families, it's not exactly a walk in the park. You have to have good footwear. They um, recommend good walking boots, but they will let good trainers uh, be allowed. Also, you need two litres of water per person, which makes absolute sense because I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> and they do actually check this when you're looking in to start the walk, so be prepared if you're coming on this walk. It's been really good, but whew, it's going to take some time to get out of here. OMG, look who's come along to. <laughs> she just turned around the corner. I'm not quite sure if she normally comes this way. I don't know if she's paid, more importantly. Have you? Excuse me, have you got your ticket? <laughs> Where's her puppy? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, look at you, Gavin's a fuss. Look at bitch chihuahua. Perfect size for a van dog cow. Mm. Perfect collar for saying, I belong to someone as well. Always Mr. Sensible, you just can't, you just can't let it go. <laughs> so 
So it's about quarter past nine. It's definitely heating up. We've descended quite a way. We've been walking for just over an hour, but we've been um, dawdling and you know, getting distracted by the dog. I'm hoping we haven't got too far to go, but um, I'm hesitant to look at the map <laughs> because uh, yesterday's hike is still taking its toll physically. So I don't really want to uh, dishearten myself by seeing that we're like not even halfway yet. But it's been a nice hike and fortunately we're in the shade now, which is certainly helping. I still stand by my decision of the Jeeps yesterday, the Land Rover back up the hill. Um, I don't think we would have been able to do today. No, and we were planning to do another hike tomorrow, but I think that's off yeah, the cards. That's off a the cards. Day. That'd be stupid. Who are we? Who are we? The Nervous Explorers. If my calves, oh, sorry mate, <laughs> if my calves are not defined by later on tonight, I'm writing a letter of complaint. <laughs> Who to, I don't know. <laughs> Whew, it's sweaty though, isn't it already? Yeah, looking forward to the snorkeling. And we have arrived. Cala Goloritse was elected as an UNESCO site in 1995. This small white pebble beach has a natural stone arch and some of the clearest waters on the island. This photogenic beach is a top spot for snorkeling in the exquisite shades of emerald water. Plus, after that hike, we needed to cool off. And here's today's epic lunch spot on one of the high rocks above the beach. It's had your house come for the ride too, haven't you, mate? What's that? You thought yesterday's lunch spot was better? Why? Uh, I feel you. Too many people, he doesn't like it. So now we've had our fun, it's time to uh, head back up the valley. Where are the Jeeps? Not here today. <laughs> I think we'd both pay for the luxury of that. We've got to uh, rely on our own two feet this time. The man said it should be about two hours to get back up, but I think it's going to be more than that for us because we're going to be stopping and starting a lot today. I think it's very warm again, as you can probably tell. We've had a nice time, but we're looking forward to getting back to the van and hopefully have another shower, get the van clean, ready, and just relax. It's been nice. Yeah. See you at the top of the hill. Yeah, you've got the luxury of just zooming up there in seconds. This is death. I don't think at any point of the day walking back up this hill for four kilometres is ever going to be worth that beach. What do you think, Carl? So I'm not quite sure why we're finding this extra tough today. We've been walking for just over two hours. We have had a few little water stops and thankfully we took as much water as we did. Um, obviously the heat isn't helping, um, but it is very, very stru uh, strenuous. I'm not sure if it's just because we're not used to this sort of climate and it's taking its toll. I mean, some people are walking down there with tiny little water bottles. I don't know how they're managing it. It is tricky. Um, it's just a very intense walk back. We're nearly done, but not quite there yet. So we thought we'd record our thoughts and feelings right here, right now. And um, I don't know if our thoughts will change. I don't know, the, the sea and being in the water there was beautiful, but the beach itself, I don't know. Here she comes. <laughs> Granny's oh. named it. <laughs> oh. oh, I am so stiff and achy this morning. You ready for another hike? No. Come on. Not at all. She loved it, really. So yeah, this is the day after we finished the hike. Um, yesterday, we were you were more negative towards it than I was, but now you slept slept on it. How do you feel about that hike? Um. I still feel a certain amount of resentment for paying six euros to see that beach and hiking four kilometres down, which was a little bit difficult anyway, but then the way up was just 
unbelievable. I think there's yeah. potential that we underestimated the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, we thought it was maybe a bit more of a gentle walk down to a stunning beach. Um, don't get us wrong, the beach, as you saw, was beautiful. Um, but Teddy Ralph was right. If that's restricted numbers due to COVID, I wouldn't want to be there no. when it's normal because there wasn't much room in it. Was yeah, for that number of people on that big a beach, I'd expect a twice as big a beach. Yeah. It was lovely, um, but when I think of Sardinian beaches, that one won't pop out um, uh, compared to the others we've seen, you know. It doesn't stand out. No, no, no. However, it was worth going there for the camper stop, which we were <laughs> pleasantly surprised at. So that was 16 euros a night, um, which we stayed for one night. We had two showers. Oof. And we had puppy snuggles too, so yeah. I'm I. The pain and hurt from that trek, and trust me, there was tears at one point, and we also nearly had a falling Not out session. Me. I was, I do not made a cry. I was a few feet ahead, and I was going, Meg, 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 trying to cheer her on, and she goes, You got stop that. Are you going to make that. me cry? Um, I, I knew that he wanted to hurry up, and my legs and I couldn't get enough oxygen, we were low on water even though we bought more than uh, we were supposed to, yeah. it was horrible. So we were. generally I think what we wanted to say is if you're going to come in the spring or fall it would be worth doing because it would be a more pleasant temperature, less, yeah. um, less people, it would be worth it. And maybe also don't do a big hike the day before. Maybe, that's our That's fault. also another issue of ours. So, uh, that's the negativity done. What do we think? Because this is potentially our last big adventure in Sardinia. Yeah. The it's... area that we've been in has been outstanding. We haven't filmed yeah. a lot of the drives, but we've been up in the mountains almost constantly. The drives are amazingly beautiful. You know, the first park up spot we had was incredible. Yeah. With the driving, you said it, the way that we were coming down a mountain pass that was one of the main roads the other day. We looked out over the the the, the rugged hillside. It was as if it was like. Arizonian sort of vibe, wasn't it? Like it was the, the colour of the rock and the yeah. soil and the, the vegetation. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. The gorge hike was fantastic. I'm so glad we went down there. That was hard as well. Um, but we've got some fantastic memories and pictures and seeing, um, you know, one of Europe's deepest gorges like that. It's hard to, the camera will never do it justice. Um, that was incredible. The Jeep ride was fun in hindsight you obviously had a better time than i did <laughs> and then the agrotourism as well where uh, we picked up yeah of course forgot about that you were pleasantly surprised by that experience i don't think you had too high uh, expectations i didn't know when you say it's like a agrotourismo going to a farm that's serves food i don't know if we're just going to like go into someone's house and they just chuck some food in front of us we just eat with the family i didn't know what the, what the deal was really and um, we had enough food for an extra day after that we had all of the leftovers yeah. and it was really lovely experience fantastic hospitality so as always if you made it this far into the video thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up if you didn't give us a thumbs down <laughs> for all of our moaning and whinging in this beautiful part of the world. Yes. Um, comment if you would like to tell us anything or if you've got any comments about it. Yeah. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. One of the better ways to speak to us is probably on Instagram. Uh, the link's down below. DM us. Um, we love talking to you, helping out, giving info, advice, whatever you want to know. Yeah. I will be writing a blog about all of our highlights of Sardinia, where we stayed, the best beaches that we actually went to, mm -hmm. um, pictures and things like that. So I'll be writing that shortly. So as soon as that is ready, you will see that in probably in a pinned comment. Yeah. So thank you very much. We're not sure what's going to come next. We've got a few days left here until we catch our ferry. We can't guarantee there's going to be anything particularly before then. So um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Arrivederci. Ciao, bella. <laughs>